Hey guys, um, today I'll be reviewing the LUM-80 SOCOM Sport Tactical Flashlight. It'll fit on any standard rail. It's by Aftermath, and, um, I have hooked it up to my, uh, Crossman Air Mag C11. I got this flashlight for, um, around $17 at Fry's Electronics, a local store. Um, it actually is, it amazed me how bright it actually is for a $17 flashlight. It's also made out of durable metal, and, um, it, it, it just feels, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels, um, realistic, you know? It's not some cheap plastic little flashlight. Um, it came in a small little plastic box. It came with a manual, the the light itself, its rail, and um, it's got a, a small little screw rail thing right here that you, um, that you use to screw onto your rail. And um, right here, there's a little thing where you can loosen it with an Allen wrench, and you can replace this flashlight with anything around this size, so a laser, whatever the heck you want, that can fit in there. Um, so, uh, that came in the box, a pressure switch came in the box, to install that, all you have to do is unscrew the back, which is where the batteries go, and then screw this on. Um, it also came with a little Allen wrench and a baggie, which was helpful for tightening and loosening this. Um, the, uh, the, it, the battery it uses is a camera battery. Uh, you can find them almost anywhere. Um, and, uh, I think that's about it. Overall, great flashlight. Um, I would buy it if I were you because it totally illuminates. Um, I'm going to do a test right now. I'm going to switch off the lights, close the door, then you can see how effective actually is. Okay, so this clearly illuminates my room very easily. It, um, it's also easy to turn on and off with the, um, with the switch, the, the, um, regular switch that comes on it. It's on the back right here, this little button. You can just press it and it turns off, press it and it turns on. The pressure switch works barely, almost the same way except for you have to be holding it. So that's mostly for rip rifles, where you have a foregrip and you could put this on. It has an adhesive patch. I haven't take, taken off the adhesive yet because there's really no practical place to put this on the C11. Um, that's it. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks, guys.